Hello everybody, Lurgs here, welcome to my channel and today I'll show you how to check your car battery using a multimeter. This is a very simple process, all you need for this is a digital multimeter. And this video is only for petrol or diesel vehicles, it is not for electric cars. Car batteries tend to last between 5 and 10 years, but if you get this icon up on your dashboard whilst you're driving, it means you've got a problem with your battery charging. This could be a problem with your alternator which charges the battery, or it could be a problem with your alternator belt. If your car is struggling to start or the battery is not holding a charge, then it could be time to get the battery replaced. First, we'll check the battery with a digital multimeter. The first thing you need to do is locate your battery. This will normally be under your bonnet or the hood, but some car batteries may be in the boot. So locate where your battery is, and the positive terminal will normally have a cover over it just to protect it. Take your digital multimeter and set it to the 20 volt setting because it's a 12 volt battery. And what we'll do first is check the battery without their engine running, just to see the status of the battery. So take the black node, put that on the negative, and take the red node and put that on the positive, make sure you've got a good connection. And this one is showing 12.27 volts. That's okay, but that is a little bit low. What to do next is start up your car with those nodes on, maybe get someone to help you. The voltage should drop as it starts up, which it has. Now most modern cars will have a regulator on it, so it will regulate the voltage even if it's revving high. So this one is just going to start climbing. Let's just leave it a while. So that is now correctly charging the battery at 13.19 volts. Fabulous. So that proves that the battery is charging correctly. Give it a little rev. And I'll just give the engine a few revs, just to prove that it won't overcharge it. Right, now let's turn off. the engine off, and the voltage will start coming back down again. Without the engine running, you can also do a car battery load test. Put on as many devices as you can to load up the battery. So put the lights on, put the fan blower on maximum, put the demister on, plug in any sat navs in the cigarette lighter. Without the engine running and all those devices on, if the voltage starts coming right down, that indicates a problem with your battery. Then if you try and start it and it struggles to start and the voltage comes right down, again, that indicates a problem and it could be time for a replacement. And now for some battery tips. Make sure you're wearing rubber gloves for these tips. If your terminals have corrosion on, then remove the cable connections, then just take some light sandpaper and just give the terminals a really good scratch up just so they're nice and clean and you get rid of any corrosion. Do that on both terminals and then eventually you'll have a nice clean terminal connection looking like this. Once your battery terminals are nice and clean, you can keep them in good condition by spraying it with special battery terminal protector spray. But if you haven't got any of that you can just use Vaseline. Make sure you're wearing rubber gloves when you apply this Vaseline. Just put a small bit on the end of your finger and then just gently put it over the terminals. Make sure that you do one at a time and just give that a nice good covering on both terminals and that will keep them in good condition and stop them corroding. Rubber gloves and Vaseline. Oh reminds me of last Saturday night. <laughs> then make sure you put any covers back over the positive terminal I hope that battery video was useful to you. Now it's time for a lovely brew and then the sounds of a V8 beast. <laughs> 